Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here, and today's the day. The One More Thing Apple event just ended, and Apple has announced three new Macs running the M1 Apple Silicon chip. The 13-inch MacBook Air, the 13-inch MacBook Pro, and the new Mac Mini. This video is going to be a buyer's guide. Let's say you want to buy one of these brand new Macs, and you don't know which one to get. There's three of them and they all have different specs, but they're using some of the same things. So I'm going to go over each one and show you all the differences. Let's jump in and get all started. three brand new Apple Silicon Macs to help you decide in this buyer's guide which one to get and showing you all the differences. So first off is the MacBook Air can come in now gold color. It has space gray and silver still available. In the MacBook Pro, you can get space gray and silver. But look, in the Mac Mini, you can't get space gray anymore. You can only get silver. Over. Now, what's interesting to note is it, for the MacBook Air, the Intel version is gone from the store. You cannot get it, the, the Intel version anymore. On the 13-inch MacBook Pro, they still offer both the 2.0 i5 and the 2.0 i5 upgraded version with 16 gigs and one terabyte as options to still get. You'll notice that they both only come in space gray and silver. The same thing with the Mini. You can get an Apple Silicon Mini, but they also still have a 3.0 i5 available in Space Gray that you can purchase if that's the way you wanted to go. So I just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of that part. The next thing is the base price. The base price of the MacBook Air is $99.99, $12.99 for the MacBook Pro, and $6.99, which is a lower price for the Mac Mini. The next thing to talk about is the display, CPU, memory, and storage. The display is different. These are showing you the maximum amounts that you can configure each Mac with. Eight core across the board, 16 gigs max, and two terabyte storage. Now with the battery, it is different. The MacBook Air has a smaller battery and has 18 hours of battery life, and and the MacBook Pro 13 inch has 20 hours of battery life. Now for the Touch ID, they both have Touch ID, but the MacBook Pro 13 inch has the touch bar. Now, this is where I wanted to talk about the differences. All three Macs have the eight core M1 processor, but there's one big difference and it's really hard to notice. Notice how it says up to eight core GPU. It only has seven. The MacBook Pro has a full 8-core GPU. That's the only difference between the three chips on the three different models, but I needed to make sure you guys were aware of that. Now on the memory, like I said, all three come with a base storage of 8 gigabytes. It can be configured with 16 gigabytes across the board. With the storage, they all come with 256 base storage and can be configured all the way up to two terabytes. Now the display is also different, a very small amount. Again, the difference is between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. They both have a retina display. They're both 13.3 inch LED backlit with IPS technology, but look at the, the nits brightness. The MacBook Air has 400 nits brightness and the MacBook Pro has 500 nits brightness. So it's a little bit of a brighter screen. Now the weight is also different. As you can guess, the MacBook Air weighs 2.8 pounds and the MacBook Pro weighs 3.0 pounds. So it's not that much, but there is a difference. Now the camera, the camera, the camera. We were really hoping that Apple would update the camera to be at least HD 1080p, but that didn't happen. Even though in the keynote they mentioned that there's better technology around the processing of the camera. So it might be better, but it's still a 720p camera. Now the audio, again, there's another subtle difference between the uh, MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro, both with the microphones and the built-in speakers. The built-in speakers of the MacBook Pro support HDR, high dynamic range. So that's something that's that's supported and the MacBook Air does not support. For the microphone, the Air comes with a three mic array of uh, directional, but the MacBook Pro has a studio quality three mic array with directional. They both have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack included and the Mac Mini has a, a HDMI 2.0 port. The keyboard and trackpad are pretty much clo very close, but obviously the MacBook Pro has the touch bar. What's interesting about the MacBook Air is that some of the function keys changed. The launch pad and the keyboard brightness keys have been replaced with do not disturb, spotlight, and dictation. So that's an interesting change in the MacBook Air. 
Wireless is the same across the board with all three. And the ports, there's also an interesting thing that we need to go over too. The MacBook Air always had two Thunderbolt 3 ports. The MacBook Pro could be configured in the higher model to have four ports, but in with Apple Silicon, you can only have two ports on the 13 inch MacBook Pro. So that's something that would have been nice to have if we could have had four ports on the Apple Silicon device, but no such luck here. The Mac Mini has two Thunderbolt 2 ports and a two USB-A ports, HDMI 2.0 and gigabit ethernet. Uh, the secure authentication, we've already gone over that. Apple Pay is the same across the board. Video calling is the same. Audio calling is also the same. Siri is the same. And this is where I wanted to talk about the battery. I mentioned how the battery in the MacBook Pro 13 inch is larger. It's a 58.2 watt hour lithium polymer battery compared to the MacBook Air 49.9 watt hour lithium polymer battery. And also notice, how the power adapter is smaller in the MacBook Air compared to the MacBook Pro, which is almost doubled in, well, it is doubled in size, size to 61 watts over 30 watts. So let's talk about the recommendations here. If you really want to get an Apple Silicon Mac, it all depends on what you want to do. If you are a traveler and you work with email, spreadsheets, browsing, and things like that, the MacBook Air is gonna be perfect for you. If you are doing something a little heavier duty, like you're starting to maybe use iMovie to, to create videos, if you're using some video editing software, Photoshop, stuff like that, the 13 inch model is gonna be the one for you. If you have a 5K display already, and you may you might already have a Mac Mini that you want to replace that's getting long in the tooth, the Mac Mini is the way to go too. So the, each one has still does have its market. Now I wanted to mention real quick before we go that the MacBook Air does not come with a fan. And that's important to note because it's almost like the previous 12 inch MacBook with the Intel i3 processor. Why is that important that it doesn't have a fan? Well, when the processor starts really getting high up there in CPU cycles, the only way to cool it is to throttle it. So while you can get peak uh, CPU frequency at certain high levels, as soon as it starts to heat up, it's going to throttle itself to bring the, the heat down. Now, the MacBook Pro 13 inch and the Mac Mini come with a built-in fan, so it should be able to not throttle as much when we're calling for those high CPU uh, times. So that's something really interesting to think about when you're trying to decide between the three models. I hope this video created value for you. Are you gonna get an Apple Silicon Mac? Which one are you gonna get? Let me know in the comments. I'm really excited to hear what you guys think. If this video created value for you, click that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Catch you in the next one.